Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the third part of chapter 12, Electromagnetic Oscillations. At the end of this chapter, we're going to analyze the free damped electromagnetic oscillations in the series RLC circuit. Before we start, let's remember the main ideas that we took in the last video. We said that in the undamped free electromagnetic oscillations, the differential equation that governs the variation of UC is given by UC double prime plus 1 over LC, UC equals to 0. The general solution is given by U maximum sine or cosine omega 0 t plus phi, where the proper frequency is 1 over 2 pi radical LC. And finally, we said that the period of the energy is given as T0 over 2. We have the knowledge that for a damped oscillation, there would be a resistive force. In electricity, we add a resistor to the circuit that for, we call it an RLC circuit. We performed an experiment where we connected the capacitor of capacitance C, which has a charge Q, in series with a purely inductive coil of inductance L and a resistor of resistance R. An oscilloscope is used to visualize the variation of the voltage across the capacitor U, A, B. So the phase is connected to A and the ground to B. The adjacent figure is obtained. What is special about this curve? It starts from maximum voltage, which is expected since it was initially charged and then the amplitude decreases with time. We intend to make an analytical study that helps us understand this type of oscillations. For this, we have two methods. The first one is by deriving the expression of electromagnetic energy. The first idea that we should agree on is that the total electromagnetic energy is not constant. This means that the addition of WC plus WL is not constant. Actually, the variation of this energy with time represents the lost power by the resistor that we added already to the circuit. Thus, we write it as minus Ri squared. Now, let's make derivative for this expression of energy so that we can write it as minus R i squared instead of dw by dt equals to l i i prime plus c u c times u c prime. Yet we know that i equals to plus dq by dt since the positive sense is entering the charged armature q. Then i which is q prime can be written as the derivative of c U C. The result is I equals to C U C prime. Then we can take C U C prime from this expression and write instead U C times I. We divide by I in both sides of this equation. We get minus R I equals to L I prime plus U C. Then we're going to replace I in this equation by C U C prime, I prime by C U C double prime, and then it becomes as such. Let's write it then as L C U C double prime plus R C U C prime plus U C equals to zero. Then divide by L C. The final result is this second order differential equation that governs the variation of U C. Now we're going to study the second method by applying the law of addition of voltages. The law states that UAB equals to UAD plus UDB. UAB represents UC, the voltage across the capacitor, while UAD represents the voltage across the coil, but it is opposite to the sense, so we should write it as minus LDI by DT. The same for UDB, which is across the resistor and it's opposite to the sense, so we write it as minus RI. As we have mentioned in the previous method, that I is written as plus DQ by DT Q prime, 
and finally it can be written as c u c prime then i prime is c u c double prime let's replace i and i prime by these expressions then rearranging the equation and dividing by lc we get to the same differential equation that governs the variation of uc this differential equation is of the form uc w prime plus 2 delta uc prime plus omega 0 squared uc equals to 0 where omega 0 is 1 over radical lc and delta is r over 2l what about the solution of this differential equation when r over 2l is a small compared to 1 over delta lc the general solution of this differential equation becomes a exponential minus r over 2l t cosine r sine omega t plus phi where a and phi are constants determined using the initial conditions of uc and i note that the oscillations here is called pseudo periodic of period t equals to 2 pi over omega which is greater than the proper period t zero t increases with r omega is written then as radical 1 over lc minus r over 2l squared if r is very small then t is approximately equals to t zero now after defining the solution we can make a graphical study for u q and i it's clear from the solution that the amplitude is an exponential function representing it we can find that it decreases with time besides it starts from maximum since it was initially charged what about the variation of q as a function of time q equals to c u c where c is a positive constant then q and u c are always of the same variation but they differ with the amplitude we end with the current the current is the derivative of q this means that there is a phase difference between i and q this figure shows that the absolute value of i increases with time between 0 and t over 4 while the absolute of uc and q decreases since the capacitor is discharging through the coil this shows us that i is negative and i flows in the negative direction finally we are going to study the graphs of energy having the expression of uc the electrical energy is written as half c times the expression of uc squared this shows us that it is positive for any time and at t equals to zero uc was maximum then the graph is shown as such where the amplitude is decreasing and the period of this energy is half the period of the oscillation you see according to the magnetic energy it is half li squared and also it is positive but at t equals to zero the current was zero thus it is represented as the green curve in the adjacent figure finally the electromagnetic energy which is the sum of both it's clear that it's not constant it decreases with time due to thermal energy released by r and it's shown in the blue curve in the adjacent figure let's solve an application in the adjacent circuit a capacitor of capacitance c initially charged is connected with a purely inductive coil and a resistor of resistance r the electric energy and the magnetic energy of the circuit are represented in the adjacent graph at t equals to zero u c equals to two volts and i equals to zero ampere the first question knowing that r over 2l less than one over radical lc indicate the type of electromagnetic oscillations that is taking place in the r lc circuit the answer is in the presence of the resistor in the r lc series circuit the type of the electromagnetic oscillations is free damped electromagnetic oscillations second part 
by referring to the graphs of energies, calculate the value of the capacitance C of the capacitor. Let's check this graph and see what value may help us find the capacitance. It is the electric energy. Thus, we read it at T equals to zero since it's given. The energy stored in the capacitor at T equals to zero is four times 10 exponent minus six joules. And we know that UC equals to two volts, it's given. Then after calculating it, we find that C equals to two times 10 exponent minus six farad or two microfarad. Part three, by referring to the graph of the energies, find the value of the pseudo period T of the electromagnetic oscillations, then deduce the value of the pseudo pulsation omega. From the graph, we can read the period of energy, which is the time taken by one oscillation, then it is 2.2 milliseconds. Now, the pseudo period then is two times the period of energy and it is 4.4 milliseconds. What about the pulsation then? It is two pi over T equals to two pi over 4.4 times 10 exponent minus three. The answer is 1,428 radians per second. The fourth part, determine the differential equation that governs the variation of UC equals to UAB across the capacitor during electromagnetic oscillations in the circuit. We start with the law of addition. It is UAB equals to UAD plus UDB. Referring to the positive sense, UAB is written as UC equals to minus LDI by DT minus RI. I here is plus DQ by DT since the sense is entering the positive plate. So I equals to C UC prime and I prime is C UC double prime. Let's replace them in the differential equation. Thus we get UC equals to minus L C U C double prime minus R C U C prime. Dividing by L C and arranging it, it becomes U C double prime plus R over L U C prime plus one over L C U C equals to zero. And the differential equation is attained. Now part five given. The expression of UC equals to A exponential minus 2R T cosine 1428T minus 0 0.1 as a solution for the obtained differential equation and A is positive. Determine the value of the two constants A and R. We can start with finding A, now replacing UC equals to 2 and t by 0, the answer is 2 equals to a cosine minus 0 0.1. a then is 2.01 volts. To find r, let's use the initial value of i which is 0. i is dq by dt which is c uc prime. Be aware that the expression of uc is about 2 time functions multiplied by each other. So in order to make derivative, we should write a, the derivative of exponential, times cosine plus a exponential minus 2r multiplied by t times the derivative of cosine. And the answer is as such. Then at t equals to 0, i0 zero is 0 ampere. Replace t by 0 we can calculate it and find that R equals to 71.64 ohms. This is enough for this video. Please keep in your mind the main ideas that we have mentioned during this video and the study well. This is the end of part 3. Thank you for watching.